Good morning, my small children. It is the third asynchronous Wednesday, and today we're starting something that's a little cool. Now, because we have a whole bunch of issues with testing while we're away, and I don't want to have to think about all the possible ways to make sure that we're on task and not cheating when I'm busy, we are going to start an anchor. However, this anchor is... um bit fun. We are going to be surviving the zombie apocalypse. So go ahead and go to classwork and go ahead and scroll down or use the side tab to get to, it's not that, the five themes of geography. So now in the five themes, we're going to open. <clears throat> as it loads. This is basically our graphic organizer for our project. Now, we'll take a little bit more time on our Wednesdays and we'll have questions in class, but I just wanted to get you guys thinking. So, oops, and it's telling me I misspelled soldier. Oops. So, the world is in turmoil. In an attempt to create the perfect soldier, the government was experimenting on the dead using the Toxoplasma gondii parasite, which is actually a real parasite. You need to pack your bags and figure out your game plan. Studies show that you want to have access to water, a food resource, modes of transportation and communication, as well as building materials. Make sure you pick wisely. So let's see who's last in the longest. So first, I need to know what's in your bag. Now you have a standard backpack, so it all has to fit. Be sure you're not putting anything you don't need because you have to carry this. I'll show you my bag when we have our meeting. So go ahead and pause here, and as many things as you can think that you can keep in your get out of Dodge or get out of there backpack, let me know. Then we need to know where you're setting up camp to survive the zombie apocalypse. So I need either an address or your absolute location. Where are you going? Because to get your teammates to come and meet you and have a safe hold, you need to let them know where you are. Another way you can do that is relative location in this bottom thing. Give them directions. Starting in Reynoldsburg, Ohio, starting at the school, how are you going to get to your safe place? Because you're going to need help. That being said, those people might have specific tasks. So you need to figure out how you can adapt the area around you to survive the longest. So what type of resources are nearby? Are you near Hoover Dam? Are you near a plantation plant? That's probably not going to help you. What is nearby? Now, we know no place is perfect. So what are you gonna have to build to make it work for you? Do you have to build a dam because there's constant flooding? Do you have to um, watch your ground because you're next to a chemical plant and you have to make sure we're not polluting? Because I don't know about you, but we have zombies on one side and then we're gonna get pollution zombies on the other or toxic waste, and then die that way. We then have communication directions. It's great that you have those directions to your um, squad mates, your vampire, not vampire, ooh, we're not killing me, your zombie apocalypse defense team. But how are you going to let them know where to go? Are you going to write snail mail? If you're going to write emails or texts, how are you going to make sure that there's Wi-Fi, that there's communication lines? 
things to think about. And if you say carrier pigeons, I want to know where those carrier pigeons are coming from. We then have place. Now, in every single zombie apocalypse, it's not always the zombies that are the danger, but the people. So you got to know what type of people are there. Is there a culture? Is there a language? Do you speak the language? Can you get help? Physical layout. If you're running away from zombies and it's super hilly, I'm sorry, but you're dead. What's the physical layout? Is there mountains? Is there hills? Is there valleys? Plateaus? Deltas? Deltas might be nice. Got lots of water. Peninsula would be great because there's one exit or one entrance and everything else is by water. Things to consider. Last but not least is region. Starting our own camp, you need to figure out how it's going to be run. So I want to know some rules and how you're going to make decisions in your zombie apocalypse camp. Now, this is basically a graphic organizer, like I said, so we'll go in more details. But I want you to answer these questions in the best possible way you can using what you know about the five themes of geography. I will come back to you in a little bit and we will decide, a little bit being a while because I'm asynchronous, but we will come back and we will work on it. Now, like I said, you watched me go through where to find that. If you finish this, you do need to work on your social justice issue, which is in quarter one, essential question, step one. If you are all done with that, then make sure you have no missing work and you're good. Have an awesome rest of your day.